All right, 114 students, you are on a roll. All right, you found the Canvas homepage and you follow the video and you now have found the Getting Started module. So my intent in this video is just to walk you through the Getting Started module, let you kind of know what you're gonna be seeing and what you should be doing as you complete it. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, start sharing my screen. Again, there's our Canvas home screen. Um, I had you guys press the Getting Started module here to get to the or, uh, orientation page. But for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and press modules because I'd like to show you something else. All right, so when you press modules, any modules that are open up to you will be shown. So you can see in this case, uh, there's your Getting Started module. Uh, there's an orientation page where you're currently watching this video. There's video of some Canvas basics, uh, some videos of how to do Canvas assignments, uh, videos on how to get feedback from me, a page where you can do your practice assignment that's due uh, September 18th, your introduction discussion board where you write your introductions, as well as a link to student resources. All right. And so that's basically the overview of what this module looks like. And so at any time, if you have to step away and you want to come back, all you have to do is press the page that you'd like to go to and you immediately go there. So like right now, I want to go to the orientation page. And that's pretty much where you've picked up this video. All right. So the first thing before I uh, go through the uh, getting started module, please make sure that you have read through the syllabus, because what I'm going to be doing throughout these uh, this video, as I show you page by page uh, what you should be doing and, and completing, uh, I'll also note as you read things, uh, you'll basically get some of the major highlights from the syllabus itself. So it'll kind of reinforce what you thought you heard or you were learning. So for example, uh, under the video, I'm just basically talking about, you know, what's going to be happening once we officially get started here. The, everything is going to be uh, flipped. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Canvas lesson modules to actually do the lessons. Uh, you know, number one, you're going to work through the Canvas lessons and watch the videos. Number two, you're going to submit the guided notes for me to grade. You're going to complete the section quiz and homework. You have it ready for class so you can discuss. It'll take you about two to three hours to complete, right? Uh, you know, I have things usually do a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night by midnight. No late work's acceptable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm, I'm please take the time to read through each page because I am highlighting some of the uh, syllabus rules that you want to do as well as expectations. Uh, again, there's a withdrawal reminder. Or the last date officially withdraw is the 21st but please don't go five straight days without uh, doing anything. So please read through this orientation page. Obviously you've opened up the video to watch, right? And so when you finish reading the page and reminding yourself of syllabi stuff, at the very bottom, there's a button that says next, excuse me. When you press next, you'll go to the next page, which is basically some Canvas basic features. Um, I went ahead and just used some videos that uh, someone else made why and reinvent the wheel but if you're new to canvas this is an enti entirely new environment for you you probably want to watch this first video uh, because it um, has some pretty good uh, overall canvas basics uh, there's also a video on the canvas email at this point in time what i'd like to share with you is the canvas email is different than your student email you got to fill for that in your welcome email that i sent uh, i sent that to your at maricopa.edu account versus the canvas account uh, you need to be aware that there are basically two accounts, all right? Uh, Canvas is only good for Canvas. Uh, the student email is a little bit more robust because we can CC other people like counselors or department chairs or whoever needs to be a tutor that you're working with. Uh, as opposed for Canvas, it only works for those who are in our Canvas class. So it's kind of limited. It's good but uh, for a quick message. But if we need to get other people involved, it's not good. So please be aware of both. I do tend to use your student email account. All right, and uh, please make sure you find the welcome email and reply to it by September 18th so you can complete one of the important uh, first week items that uh, you're due. If you press next, uh, the next page actually walks you through a Canvas assignment. Again, I highlight ideas that I'm, you know, I'm only going to grade guided notes that are uploaded correctly. I'm not going to grade I, uh, items that are emailed to me or attached later. So no late work, please. But what I also have done, uh, there's a colleague of mine who actually uh, works in, I believe it's Minnesota, who uh, did, I think, a pretty stellar job. She's an English professor, but the idea of how to submit assignment is very similar to how we're going to be submitting them. So rather than listening to my voice, voice drone on, I decided I'd change the pace and you can listen to a colleague of mine. All right. So she pretty much walks you through how to submit an assignment in Canvas. 
So please watch that video. Next, <clears throat> all right, uh, what's important also is feedback. Uh, particularly if I take points away from your guided notes, if something's missing, they're out of order, um, I will take points away. And then in the comments, I'll tell you why I took points away. Uh, so in this way, you can uh, fix them and resubmit them before the deadline. So please make sure you're not waiting for deadlines. Do them early enough to get feedback from me. Uh, so when you do get that feedback, that's basically what this video is well. Another colleague, this time from the University of Minnesota, who basically talks through the item, where to find my comments, how you can make comments. Uh, really good job because she also shows you what we see in the speed grader so you can get a feel for what I'm seeing. And then also at the end of the page, just some notes, uh, some syllabi notes again about no late homework. You should be turning things in using PDFs, JPEGs, or PINGs, right, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So please make sure you watch the video and read the syllabus comments so that you're getting familiar with the syllabi. If you press next, uh, what I have for you is the practice assignment. Uh, this will be your first ability. You just watched about how to do an assignment, how to get feedback. So this is our first interaction with each other on how to do that. Uh, as you can see, I've also made another video that walks you through so when you get to this page, watch the video, and I literally walk you through how to complete this assignment successfully. So watch, pay attention, learn, get it done. Again, this is due September 20, uh, excuse me, September 18th. All right, once you finish that, if you press next, you're gonna go to our first discussion board of the semester. Every single module has its own discussion board for you to interact with. Uh, again, some rules of engagement, if you would, let's consider, you know, it's very difficult to, Put yourself out there and say some things about yourself or even ask math questions. So let's be kind to each other with our netiquette rules. All right. We uh, encourage and help. I also have another video on how to use the uh, discussion board, uh, how to create threads, how to post pictures, how to write things, how to use the equation editor. Right. So that you can write your intro and follow my lead. Right. So there's my intro. I have some pictures that I have embedded and resized. Uh, so that I'm not taking up the entire discussion board, as well as telling you a little bit about myself. So I'm looking forward from the same thing from you guys. Uh, let me see some pictures of you and your, you know, other important things. Uh, those that I have there are pictures of me and my grandbabies. Okay. If you press next, <clears throat> what you're going to get is another link to resources. Uh, you should anyways. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the GCC Help Center, the Disability Resource Center, Mass Solutions, some tutoring sources. Right, those are the same items you would have found. Let me go back to the home page. Right, so those are the same item that you find in the tutoring and the tech support and the GCC resources. Just another spot for you to find them. So let me go back to modules and just show you what you just saw. So what I did page by page is walk you through the getting started module. There's an orientation page where you found this video, right? There's the videos walking you through Canvas Basics, how to submit assignments, how to get feedback how to do your assignment that's due September 18th, and then a video and a page to write your introduction, all right, as well as some resources and links. So that should get you going. So your next move is to start going through the Getting Started pages. Make sure you read things. Make sure you watch the videos. And as you do that, you'll be able to get the practice assignment done and the introduction done and be ready for the first week of class as well as be ready for the whole semester. All right, so thank you for your time. Thank you for your effort. Email me if you have questions. And I'll see you in another video coming soon.